Hey everyone, it's Allie from Hollywood Hair, and with how hot it's been outside, we know how great it feels to dip into that cool pool at the end of the day or for the kids to play all summer long. But something that we've noticed that there's been an increase in the chlorine deposit on hair and how it turns the hair green. So in this video, I wanna show you and share with you a few tips for how you can prevent and also treat the hair so that way you can avoid the chlorine green and also treat it should this happen to you. So often we get asked, why does my hair turn green? Is it from the chlorine in the pool? I have a saltwater pool. Will mine turn green as well? And a lot of times what we see is it's a chemical and mineral deposit in the hair. So no matter if you're born a natural blonde or if you have some chemically altered highlights, you can experience and may experience this as well. The chlorine, what happens is it's a mineral that's deposited into your hair and typically whenever it meets copper, it deposits and turns green on the hair. Now with this being a chemical reaction, it's not something that you can just shampoo out as quickly and as easily as what we would like. We often see this with younger girls that have the beautiful naturally blonde hair that's a little bit lighter on the ends or a little bit lighter at the face. And why this happens is the hair is thirsty. So we always think about our hair like a sponge. And a sponge, when you wring it out, of course, it's gonna soak up anything that you put next to it. If you fill it up in the pool, you're able to wring it out again. So what we find is when the hair is extremely thirsty, it's gonna grab onto anything that it can. And in the pool, for instance, that's gonna be that chlorine buildup that's gonna show a greenish hue that you will notice in your hair. One of the best tips that I can share with you, if you're gonna be in a pool at any time this summer, on vacation or in your backyard, you definitely need to stock up on some Paul Mitchell Shampoo 3. This is more of a deep cleansing, clarifying shampoo, and what this is going to do is remove the chlorine buildup or any hard water deposits from your hair. That way you don't experience that green or undesired look to the hair, but it's also a clarifying shampoo. So anytime that we extremely clarify anything, we need to follow it up with hydration. Our hydration for this follow-up is going to be our supercharged treatment. And what we love about this is it's an intense hydrating mask. So it's gonna make for sure that after clarifying the hair, it's gonna rebalance the porosity and the pH of the hair, making for sure that you have a stable ground for no chlorine or any other minerals to really deposit and get into the hair giving it that green vibe that nobody wants. Another option that we have in the salon that several of our guests love is our Abapui Wild Ginger Moisturizing Lather Shampoo. We love this because it's sulfate free, it's perfect for color treated hair, but it's also a really great hydrator. Now, remember the sponge that I was talking about. If your sponge isn't full of something, it's gonna grab onto anything that it's exposed to. So Abapui Wild Ginger Shampoo, it helps to restore moisture and add the balance of protein as well to the hair. And those are the two things that we need for happy, healthy hair. That way other outside elements aren't being absorbed into the hair strands. After you use your Abu Pui Well Ginger Shampoo, what we love to recommend is the Keratin Intensive Treatment. This again is going to be a deep hydrator for your hair. It's gonna help restore a little bit of protein and a little bit of moisture back into the hair. So that way you don't have so many potholes, if you will. Potholes that happen from daily styling, shampooing, free radicals in the environment. And just because all of this on top of our head, it's just dead. So we have to make for sure that we keep it on an even, playing field with some of the keratin intensive treatment. Now, whichever mask that you choose, these are gonna sit on your hair for about five to 10 minutes. Give it some extra time to let it really saturate and do what it's meant to do. After you wait about five to 10 minutes with either of the deep conditioning masks on your hair, you will want to rinse and then follow through with your styling products that you would use. So now you know why things happen, and now you know what to do if it happens, but how do you know which one to choose? If you are a guest that is looking to spend under $50, I would most definitely go home with the Shampoo 3 and the Supercharged Moisturizer. If you're okay spending a little bit more and you feel that your hair needs a little bit more moisture and a little bit more strengthening, then I would for sure recommend the Abu Pui Well Ginger. Okay, Allie, I hear what you're saying, but it's too late. My hair is already green. What I would then recommend is that you make an appointment, come into the salon and get one of our post swimming hair treatments. What we're gonna do during that treatment is use a 
Clarifying, clarifying shampoo will do an in-salon service that's gonna help remove any of that extra buildup in the hair and we'll follow up with a nice hydrating conditioner. Then we'll blow dry and style as desired. I hope you all found this video extremely helpful because not only now do you know what it looks like, why it happens, but you know how to prevent it and therefore treat it for beautiful hair results. Look forward to you all having great success and having a wonderful summer without the chlorine green. Thank you.